Hello again, most esteemed viewers. My name is Jekyll Stein Gray, and welcome to what's probably going to be a really short episode of Jekyll Stein Gray Plays, wherein uh, oh, I spent so much <laughs> I spent so much time trying to get this set up. I have weird recording problems with these games. Um, also, I have never so I've never this is the mini so I've never actually played this before. Um, okay, apparently I, these guys are in Finding Paradise. I, I just did a video on the bird on a bird story. I'm sorry. This, I mean, it's, it's weird not having a. It's weird trying to talk into about this without it having a um, intro. That's the only thing I've seen. The rest of this, I'm going in blind. I talked a bit about why you know I've played so much to the moon, but I've only played Finding Paradise once, a bird story once, and the mini sodes not at all in the bird story video, which is probably going to come out after this video. But I've already recorded. Um, so yeah. Um, and I'm, I'm gonna, I'm planning on repeating myself in the Finding Paradise video, which I haven't recorded. Um, so, um, oh, it's good to see you again, Neil. Um, uh, you prankster. This is definitely in character for him. Um, uh, also, it might look terrible. I might, well, okay, if that's the case, if you're watching this, it should look fine. Um, so, okay. Uh, it's weird to think, so yeah, I... I, I'm gonna do a. I haven't done. I haven't recorded the Finding Paradise video yet. That's probably what I'm gonna record after the mini-sode videos, um, and probably not on the same day as the bird story video. Um, <laughs> but I've got a lot of. Um, I, I've got a lot of of things. Um, <laughs> I got a lot, a lot going on. Sorry, I got um, a lot to take care of, and um, the the the. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> uh, I'm still a bit flustered from tr trying so long, so hard to get this this um, this to work. Um, the um, okay, I'm going to talk about it about why I haven't played these again in the um, Finding Paradise video as well. So don't. So I'm not going to talk about it here because I'm already going to repeat, planning on repeating myself once. And yeah, anyway. Um, Neil, where are you? The meeting started an hour ago. What? Oh, I hate that feeling. <laughs> oh, was she? Was that a prank to get her back? To get him back or something? Wait, there's no meeting today. Yeah, and I'm not dumb. Twice in one day, really? Besides, it's actually dangerous. What if it hits my head without tipping over? She made it hit my head. I feel like that would be... Heh. <laughs> I feel like that would be... I do like how subtly wet his hair looks. Um, um, I don't think that would be dangerous. So apparently this is a holiday special. You know, and apparently people are protesting. I did, I did hear about this via... Um, I think it's the um, uh, TV Tropes page of, the, of this game. Roxanne and Robert Lynn. I always thought Robert Lynn was Alistair, was the Alistair. Again, I've only played Finding Paradise once, so I couldn't remember that character's name. Um, yeah. Dr. Will's something or another. Eddie Doyle. I want to know who this Alistair is. Dr. Washroom. <laughs> This is actually, I don't think you see Sigmund Corp in Finding Paradise. You definitely don't in To the Moon. You don't see, like, the headquarters. Um, so it is actually kind of cool to see him. I'm wondering what exactly the point of this is. Like, I, I, I wonder if there's going to be a story or whatever. Again, I have, this is completely blind. Um... Just remember, could you also give me some cake with that drink? How did you know there'd be cake? There's always cake, and I want it. Well, pick one. I'm not your waitress. <laughs> hey, so which is it? Oh, he's probably... I'm thinking he's probably has to get... Has to has something to do with his pills, I bet. Um... I remember liking Roxanne, vaguely. Um... But I can't remember why. Again, been a while. Been about three and a half years since I played uh, Finding Paradise. 
Look, don't tell the others, okay? Um, uh, I hope so. Yes, let us see what the others are up to. How long has it been since I... It must have been February when I did my big to the moon, you know, one shot. Interesting. At first I thought they, they're just reusing the carnival theme, but it's, actually I think it's a remix. Um, bum, 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 bum. Huh. Really Baroque paintings, huh? Eh, I'm not a big fan of the Baroque. I'm, interested, I'm much more of a, a interested in romanticism. So she's trying to, she's trying to set her up with a nephew. Okay, <laughs> this tragedy. Nice hat. That's what I fear the most. It's like Logan's... Wait, what? What the... I am? Yeah. What are you doing, Eva? That seems like weirdly... Confrontational, chaotic for her. Oh, interesting. See the world. Interesting. Yeah, I'm so apparently there's a big protest outside. I'm actually not sure, you know, obviously I'm against corporations, you know, in general. So Consuming Corp as a corporation is, is you know, I'm, yeah, I'm against that. And the fact that this technology is only available to those of money, yada, 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 that, that I'm not, I don't like. The actual memory alteration thing is a lot trickier for me. Uh, like, I'm actually not sure how I feel about it philosophically. Um, it would be controversial, you know, and I do like how this, these games tend to go into the implications of it more than normal. Um, uh, interesting. Who the, where the hell is Alistair? I want to know who Alistair is. Alistar? I don't know how to pronounce that name. I have no clue. You probably should know. Keep dreaming, Eddie. So, what am I supposed to do here? I do like that, actually. Get it, Roxanne Winters? Interesting how he stops, and it seems like there's actually a... Um, uh, it seems like there's actually a... Um, response. Like, he's like, just standing there waiting for you to move <laughs> out of the way. At least that's how I interpreted it. But, I'm so excited for Imposter Factory. I want to see how this all ends. Let's see. There's the To the Moon Ominous music. There's the one open door. I do love that, that leaning on the fourth wall. I'm going, from your perspective, I'm going to be talking about this in, um, 
in the bird story video because I'm psychic. <laughs> um, but but I do. Um, I don't remember what I was gonna <laughs> what I was gonna say. Um, well, shoot. I legitimately, I was going to, ah, uh, now it's ruined. There was something else I liked. I was going to say I liked, but I can't remember now. And the moment's ruined. Ah, well. Is this foreshadowing? Finding paradise? Because I do remember the, the end, like the, the post credit scene or whatever. There were hundreds of. Yeah, exactly. I'm starting your memory or also um, sentimental value. Okay. This does seem like something Neil would do. What? <laughs> Ta-da! This is plainly just past the laws decades ago. Yeah. Interesting. So this is basically a big meta joke. Okay. <laughs> huh. Interesting. Gotta avoid the zombiva. Looks familiar. <laughs> I do love that, that, it almost reminds me of Spock, that eyebrow raise, raised eyebrow. This seems pretty easy for a game. I think my hypothesis is that it's, um, is that it's, it's in case the, um, uh, it's in case the, you know, like people, I'm sure there are people that fly, that love to the moon and, and are playing this. Um, uh, who haven't, um, uh, um, uh, I'm sure there are people playing this, sorry, who haven't, um, uh, who aren't, I actually I shouldn't say that now because it's getting harder, um, but I'm sure there are people playing this game who aren't a big fan of traditional games and whatnot. Ow! Ah, uh, dead. Seriously, Neil? Oh. I actually kind of like this this remix of the theme. Um, yeah. Ah! Jeez, that's actually pretty hard. Bum, 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 <laughs> This does feel like the type of game Neil would make. Although I'm curious as to what the um, uh, again Neil's. I'm 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 actually want to get to the end, partly to satisfy my own ego or whatever. Ow! And partly because Neil's the Neil like I feel like Neil's the type of person. Who would make something that's super, like a Spec Ops the Line type thing that's initially really fun at first, and then, um, uh, and then is like, or I guess, I don't know if Spec Ops the Line is fun at first, but a game that's like a traditional game at first, um, uh, and then, uh, um, uh, ow. Ow. Um, and then go on and then be like, again, Neil's the type of person who hides pain with humor. 
I mean, we saw what happened when Eva confronted him about the painkillers. Uh, there we go again. Neil, you, you need to take a page out of Shovel Knight's book and, and make the cutscenes start right after you, um... Uh, Uh, sorry, I gotta focus on this. Uh, you need to take a page out of Shovel Knight's book and start the cutscene. Just let, uh, sorry, just automatically skip the cutscene once you're done with the game. I was not expecting this. I was, li I was not expecting to have to do this. Steam viewers, ah. Mm hmm. <laughs> I actually wonder what River would think if she saw this. She would... She would probably just be like, meh. Ow. Ugh, pickled olives. Gross. If this is supposed to be Neil's like first game or whatever, that's pretty impressive. to the next checkpoint. Again, I was not expecting this when I was when I started playing this game. Ow. Alrighty. Um, <laughs> I do like that. And it, again, it, it, it feels, um, it feels, uh, I love it when, when games mix in character moments with, it's like, it's like that thing in Half-Life 2 we talked about, where you mix in character moments with the, um, uh, uh, the mechanics. So, you know, you, you feel the same surprise that Neil does when... You see that speech bubble. Shoo, shoo! <laughs> what are you, like, I, I'm still not sure we know what's up with Neil. Is this supposed to be the the um, the blocked out memory? The um, uh, the the one that the beta blocker induced memory. Huh. 
Zombiva Thwomps. Attack of the Zombiva Thwomps might have to be my subtitle for this video. Well, it might be a bit spoilery. Oh, the whack-a-mole. Bruh, am I the only one who heard similarities to the Pac-Man dying theres? Oh no, I think that's the Link dying theme. That's my best approximation in uh, Zelda 1. Huh. This is actually really interesting. Huh. Uh oh. Now I'm thinking about... Oh, it's the Pac-Man ghosts. Is that it? Again, humor and brevity mask something darker. So I was wiping the hair off of my... Um... Oh, now I'm getting flashbacks to where the water tastes like wine, a game that I really want to do a series on, but it's not going to work. Hmm. It's interesting because, um, mild spoilers for a bird's... <laughs> obviously not even really spoilers. Um, but in a bird story, it, it actually tells you to use the arrow keys. That might actually be why I was... yeah, okay. Where are you? She's not in her office. It's Roxanne's office. Insert Moulin Rouge tango reference here. Where is she? Huh. I wonder how much of Imposter Factory is going to, um, uh, is going to draw from, from these, you know, from basically everything that's not to the moon and finding paradise. I don't know. What happened earlier? Uh-oh. Well, he's gonna hear about it. Huh. I do like Roxanne. Well. Oh, man, tell him it like it is. Yeah, what could that possibly be nice? You know, it's funny, I, I've obviously talked a lot of shit about, about, you know, man, I should probably not be using this language, but anyway, um, but the, the, um, uh, but I do think I would actually be acting more like her in the everyday, you know, work environments, um,
Huh. What's this? <laughs> yep. A bunch of, yep, you know, stick up the ass type. Um, uh, <laughs> that, I have no, I don't think that's real. It is quite a feat, probably. I don't... Like, to me, this is more of an interesting ethical quandary than a thing to protest over. Heck, but maybe they are... Again, if they're protesting Sigmund Corp's business practices, that's another thing. Yeah, that's true. That is one reason why people on social, I've noticed that people on social media tend to be very angry with each other. I'm still, I still don't know. Um, uh, I still don't know what the, uh, what was I going to say? I can't remember again. Just like in yes. Oh yeah, I'm still trying to like figure out why some people seem to be more more conditioned to want to believe in their view of the world than to than to learn something new. It's like, we live in this super interesting, big, beautiful world that's full of interesting, beautiful people. And it doesn't, it just seems sad to try and like make it into a tribalist argument, you know? To try to make it tribalist or try to make it, make yourself be right all the time, you know? Did he, like, pull his glasses down or something? I'm listening. Huh. Interesting. He didn't... <laughs> He's gonna, he's gonna ch implement some changes. Is that the guy from Finding Paradise? I will say, there is something I find distasteful about framing protesters in such a way. Interesting. <laughs> Alright, now time to now time to go to the other mini-sode and Figure out what to do with that. <laughs> Eddie's drunk dialogues. What a weird thing to see in the credits. Let's 
see. Super Shigi Forum Community. Interesting. Huh. All right. That'll be all for today, esteemed viewers. Um, I think I'm going to do another video on... Like, uh, after this, I'm going to jump straight into the second mini-sode. Um, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, give it a like. If you have something to say, let me know in the comments. Twitter, letterboxnexus.gg stuff in the description down below. Uh, subscribe, subscribe and ring the bell if you want to be notified. It, notified. It, <laughs> notified. Um, and share the video with anyone that you think would like it. All right, esteemed viewers. That'll be all for today. My name has been Jekyll Stein Gray, and I'll see you in another video. Bye-bye.